Oh my gosh, how did I get all the way up here? But I'm not going to waste time on intro because I don't really feel like doing that right now. Because I want to do a lot in this episode and I don't think 15 minutes might cover it all. So I gotta meme. Gotta go faster, faster, faster. I think I adore that meme too much. I, I don't know. It's like a um, grand owl, man. You have done it and you survived at that. You conquered the vine beast from Meru. I think the beast is taking up roots at the top of the village, easily crumbling us. That rock and us support its gigantic mental weight. <laughs> it looks simply divine. If the legends are true, the light from the divine beast will ravage the calamity. For now, the divine beast from Meru will become the protector of this village and live on in legend alongside you. Oh, 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 or who, who, who. Oh, yes, of course, I must word you properly. Feel free to take what you find in that treasure chest. You can get more of you, Shelbert, than I. What do you want with my, my miraculous? Though I should expect nothing less of one from the bloodline of a champion. <laughs> well, you're almost the equal of the very Iron champion who fought with the Master Valor a hundred years ago. As the lack of the swords that seals the darkness, they say the high and chaining wield the sword that seals the darkness that now sleeps in the lost woods. Oh, I know where that is. Yeah, I do a lot of my free time. Okay, so what do you have here? Great eagle bow. A bow without equal wield by the Rio champion Raval. And of course, my inventory is super. Okay, um. I mean, I got a lot of good bows, don't I? Um. Get here, this one, this one. Well, they're both the same thing, so. Okay, let's take this one. The Great Eagle Bow. Okay, and see you guys in a minute. Oh my good, what are we doing back in Gerudo? Well, since we do have to go, this is our next destination, is the. Oh, can't really see the volcano from here. Death Mountain. Do we need something from here? Well, at least I think we do. I, I don't really know. Now, let me get on the, like on the Gerudo swirl or something. And let's go sneak into Gerudo Village again. So, first thing you, first thing I want to check out is... Just wasting some time around here. Is this magical secret little door right here. If I see it run out. That if you try to open it, it will ask for a password. Yeah, I know how to get that password. And uh, click my fingers, we'll be there. And the secret is in that house right there. Now, if we go up to said house, in a way that isn't illegal, <laughs> we'll, we'll kind of talk to people. What are Pura's up to? She didn't say she thinks you're looking for a lover's pond. A place that's supposed to be perfect for me. Wait. You, you're not thinking really see you standing there listening to our conversation? Um, you weren't saying that last time. Well, okay, I already did that quest, so first time you see him, you're gonna talk about the secret password to the secret place. You wanna go behind this wall and then listen. I'm not gonna do that right now, cause we're we'll talking about something else and, and some something about Lover's Pond or something. I, th I think I seen that on the map. It looks like a it looks like a heart. That's apparently a lake that looks like a skull. I don't know. This place has weird geography. But, however, going screen time saying ever, once you open the door, you find a shady workplace that sells male clothing. Yes, I am not kidding. This place, apparently, in a city of women, male clothing sells for a high price. I don't get it either. So then you look at here, Saba Saba, it's always Saba Saba. I say, what is this place? This is Gerdo's Secret Club, of G or GSC for short. This is the only shop in Gerdo Town. There's something could buy could buy clothes meant for a bow to wear. It's probably being illegal to sell bow clothing this town. There's a high demand for such things. Yeah, Ruju hasn't found you. How? <laughs> I've never seen the bow disguise himself as a buy like you have, though. <laughs> yeah, I'm not, I'm kind of surprised no one figured, out, figured this out soon. <laughs> okay, so you could say buy from me, but I already sold all my jewels and stuff to get this pair, these pairs of clothing. Perfect. Heat resistance trousers. I got like a lot of rubies because I found a way to get diamonds. Which I'll kind of tell you. If you go to Zoro Town or Zoro Domain, there's just one quest where you gotta get luminous stones. And for every 10 you get, you get diamonds. 
So, I'm gonna buy all this. And then I'm gonna see you later. And now that we have this clothing on, let's try it out, cause I don't know, I just, just wanna do it real quick. Let's, where, where is it though? Sort, now where is it, okay. Okay, it's right here. There. Okay, there. Oh! <laughs> well, that kind of got screwed. And there's one more thing I want to show here before I leave Gerudo for hopefully the last time. I don't know, it might be something that comes up later or something. I have this. So if you guys are wondering how I got this magnificent thunder helm that's really useful in case of thunderstorms, the way you want to get it is by going up here to this, like, what's now a lamp, oh, no, not that, this, which is now a lamp post, and then once you examine it, Rudra's gonna be like, oh, you want that? If you want, you gotta, like, help all the people in the lane, you gotta help all of them, you can't leave one single person, so you gotta do all the quests in Gerudo, or Gerudo Town. And, and then, once you do all that, you'll get this sparkling, shiny hat that has thirst, <laughs> Six eyeballs, I don't really know what's up to the six like crystal eyeballs. But other than that, let's go do something else that isn't what we're supposed to do. No. Okay, there we go. So, if you guys are wondering what I'm doing near this tower, I thought before we go to um, Death Mountain, we should get all the- Oh! We should get all of these done, or basically all of the towers done. I mean, there's only like four left, so that, that's, that's pretty good. So, of course, if I want to go here, I gotta get my Zora gear on, or, oh, Zora gear. And now we gotta swim. We gotta swim because we just have to. Zora gear makes me swim really fast, and saying this why, I don't really know. I, uh, there's only so much you can say about climbing a tower. And you also step on these things somehow, for some reason. This thing's like surrounded by electrical, ele electrical thingies, electrical whiz robes, and hopefully they don't create a like they create a lightning storm. Wear the girdle helmet. It's just, it's just by luck that a, that a rainstorm happens right now. Yeah, also might want to eat some food. Okay, wh which garnish should I eat right now? I'll eat some of this. Cause I have a lot of it. Oh, and yeah, truffles. Do you want a lot of truffles? Okay, I don't see any of them making- Yep, that one's doing it. That one's doing the move. That's really pathetic. I hate when they do that. Because when they do that, it becomes lightning every every second and every day. But, since I have this helmet on, it does, doesn't really matter. Ooh. You know what that means? I'll sh I, can, I can show that. I'll show that. I'm going to show that off. If the night doesn't end. If you're wondering what that is, I'll show show you later. However, I think they're I think they're getting close with the lightning balls now. Okay, how how far away am I? Just wait. What am I doing with the Zora gear salon when I could be using my awesome climbing gear that makes me climb really fast? And I'm saying this why you should already know that. I mean, it's, it's climbing gear. Is that still there? Yep, I'm sure now. I'm gonna pinpoint out the marker. I think I could just jump all the way up here with my stamina. And let's examine it. Oh, there, there's a man up here. Oh. Okay, I'm sorry. I can get like one person maybe walking around and then the tower thing spouts up. Maybe one. There was one fish dude. There was one Zora that, that did that. But this is getting out of hand. Like, two people? In the exact same area, a tower rises up? I mean, there's only so many towers, and the Hyrule's, like, so big. There's only so many of them. There's only so many. Okay, so what does this area look like? Um, it looks like... It looks like any other part of the world. And if you know what those stars are, those are very, very important. They're important because, well, nah, they just are. Get off my back. But, okay, what do you want? <clears throat> it's quite high. If only I was a bird, man. Boop. <laughs> ah! 
Well, where did you come from? Don't scare me like that. How, how can you get up here? Though I suppose you could ask me the same question. You see, I have taken my life to study of bird men. Their flight mechanics fascinate me. Given their weight, it should be physically impossible for them to fly with their wings of their size. Stop referencing the B movie. <laughs> I just don't get it. I was standing on the ground watching the skies and suddenly this tower erupted beneath my feet. I've been stuck up here since there was no way to get down. My for misfortune is blessing the skies. You see, this tower is probably a place to observe birdmen and their natural habitat. Oh my, now that we've climbed up here, how will you get down without falling? I suppose you're stuck here too. I'll just fly down. What? You can fly? You can fly like a birdman? Is that true? Well, that's impossible for a high end to fly like a birdman. Ah, it's more like gliding then. That's still a step in the right direction. If I can analyze your glide distance and trajectory, it may help us stand the size of birdman sight. Then maybe one day I'll finally realize my dream of becoming a bird. <laughs> Would you mind participating in a short research study? I want to see how far you can glide. You'll be compensated for your time and travel, depending on how far you fly, so how about it? Eh, yeah, sure. I, I find my proof research a birdman, so I have only 20 rubies. 20 rupees. Everybody asks for 20 rupees. And this might be kind of like getting into time though, so but who cares. Keep all of them in the list as far as it's cheap for good lighting. You ready? Let's take to the sky. Birdman Ranger study, go! Doobie 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 doobie. I know, I can, I can probably glide like really, really far. Yeah, no, lightning has no effect on me. I'm just gliding. Can you still see me? I don't think you can, especially in this weather. What if I land on a horse? Okay, I'm gonna land. I'm gonna try to land on one. Mm. Boop. Okay, that was a waste of time. Probably since I saw like three of these go. I guess I can cram like like the other like two more like two of them. What happened? You look so confident, but you only flew 400 cc. There's no, there's there's nothing to do with my research. Sorry, but I don't give you rewards for part of the performance. I give you rewards for perfect purple. I try to imagine that you're a birdman, feeling free. If you run out of energy about guy and try to make some adjustments, I'll give you more stamina. So, are you still up for it? We're gonna glide down again in the world of birdman. No, I'm done. I'm, I'm guessing they kind of want me to like do my bird powers or something. I don't know. Let's do another one. There. So, if you guys remember the whole light beam thing, this is what it is. So what happens during this is that sometimes you'll see a shooting star in the sky and once that shooting star lands, it will make a little beam of light and you will get this, a star fragment. I've already collected th two of these, so hmm. I feel pretty confident in myself. But anyway, I kind of wanted to get that out of the way, kind of show some, something special that probably we'll never get to see again. But anyway, see you guys in a second. Okay guys, if I remember this one correctly, this is the one with 50? Thousand guardians at once. I mean, am I right? I can't really see. It's really rainy. I kind of wish it wasn't raining while I was doing this. So let's just kind of see. Mm -hmm. Yep, this is one of the guardians. However, I have the power of a birdman! Yeah, you go really high with this, surprisingly. Okay, so hopefully that I won't die from this. Oh crap. Hmm. Yep, yeah, this one's gonna be hard. Leave me alone. I said leave me alone. I said leave me alone. What point not of leave me alone don't you understand? Okay. This one's probably gonna be really hard since I gotta go really fast. Or else I'll die from everything. And the music like makes you all really tense too. Okay, so go up here. Now both of them are targeting me. Okay. Okay, we made it. This one didn't take too long, but only because I had the power of Birdman. Okay, I'm just going to keep calling it Birdman for like the rest of my life now. 
going to... No, that's my that's my switch controller. I, I, is it me or am I playing the switch game? I, I just keep like taking the controller off and putting the controller on too. I just keep doing that. I don't know why. Okay, so what's this one have? This is this is Central Tower apparently. So we gotta scan area. Hmm. I hope this episode isn't too boring. I kind of wanted to fill this stuff in a bit. Only because I do have to do some other things. A little Kyrol. Man, the, the, the world's really inter inter interconnect. But anyway, I think that's a pretty good way to end off the episode. Yeah, I don't know. I think it's pretty great. I don't know if you have to. I'm see you guys next time.